so you're most welcome to this session this is a session that uh, we are going to discuss on the prevention of infectious diseases and the first issue that we should really understand is what is an infectious disease an infectious disease or infectious diseases are those diseases that are caused by the germs as we call them but you can also call them the pathogens or the pathogenic microorganisms these ones we have the bacteria we have the viruses we have the fungi and we have the parasites so basically what builds prevention prevention can be looked at as a stage of a disease the level of prevention and the type of response of which stages of diseases in this context you can appreciate them as being three one is pre-disease second latent disease and the third one symptomatic disease in a pre-disease it's usually at the level of primary prevention and the way you intervene uh, you intervene through health promotion and specific protection here i can give an example of covid-19 if covid-19 you have not yet been exposed to COVID-19. You are at a pre-disease level, or you are at a pre-disease stage, and therefore the level is primary prevention. And the type of response and health promotion in terms of COVID-19 is, for example, to tell people to wear masks, you are, they are promoting health. To social distancing, you are promoting health. You are not shaking hands, you are promoting health. To avoid overcrowding, you are promoting health. Promotion. So that one is the first stage. It's a primary a level of prevention. Then we have the lancet disease, which is secondary prevention, and usually a type of responses are pre symptomatic, diagnosis, and the treatment. Still giving the example of COVID 19. Here we assume that somebody has already got the disease. You have the signs and symptoms, you have the flu, you have the high fever, you are coughing. The symptomatic we mean before the symptoms are fully come out you can go they find out what you're suffering with they test testing and then finding out what you're suffering from is what we call diagnosis and then treatment what you're given thereafter to treat the disease so in this in terms of covid19 you don't have the you have the disease either you have the symptoms or no symptoms but upon testing you they find out that you have it then you're treated Symptomatic, which is tertiary prevention, uh, responses are disability limitation for early symptomatic disease, rehabilitation for late symptomatic disease. Determinants of prevention, we have knowledge of the causes. You must be knowing what is causing it, because if you know what is causing the disease, then you can manage. If you don't know it, then you are more or less going to be defeated. The dynamics of transmission, how is the disease transmitted? like it is malaria. You should know how is malaria transmitted if I have my farmers on a farm. How will the malaria be transmitted from one farmer to another? Through the mosquito bites. So, so why would I prevent it? Or how do I manage it? Then identification of risk factors and groups, availability of prevention or early detection and treatment measures, organization for applying these measures to appropriate uh, persons or groups. We have what we call the preventable causes of disease, which are abbreviated as beings. Beings implying biological factors and behavioral factors, environmental factors, neurological factors, nutritional factors, genetic factors, services, social factors, and spiritual factors. Now we want to look closely at primary prevention, because most of our things and most of the healthcare challenges start with the primary uh, level or for that matter pre-disease uh, has a stage of disease when you talk about primary prevention we are referring major to two aspects one health promotion and then two specific protection under specific protection we have immunization we have uh, uh, chemo prevention or prophylaxis for that matter use of specific nutrients or supplementations a safety of drugs and foods, control environmental hazards. And when you talk about health promotion, we have health education, we have environmental adjustments or changes, 
we have nutrition, nutritional interventions, we have lifestyle and behavior changes. Like a smoking is a behavior change. You can say today I've stopped smoking. If it is alcohol, you can say I've stopped alcohol. If it's prostitution, you say ah uh ah, -uh, I'm no longer a prostitute. Then also I will need to look at tertiary prevention. We are going to skip for secondary prevention. So when you look at tertiary prevention, it's about rehabilitation. Basically, it is rehabilitation of somebody. And this one rehabilitation can be a vocational rehabilitation, like at the farm, somebody has been jobless, uh, he has suffered an injury. Now he's, jo he's jobless, but at the same time he has suffered an injury. So you can teach this somebody a skill, like at the farm, how, how to produce animal feeds. Then, and then somebody is rehabilitated uh, in the mind. That's what we are calling vocation. We have medical rehabilitation, we have social rehabilitation, and uh, psychological uh, uh, rehabilitation. As I said earlier on, we are skipping the secondary prevention. Why? Because that one is basically with the doctors and the nurses who are going to offer treatment. There is something we call control, which you need to know as for infections and those infectious diseases. There are only four ways we are to control infectious diseases like COVID-19. One, through cases, contacts, carriers, and the community. At a community level is where we have investigations which are done at a larger community, like in a pillar. They would say there's the area in this place, they come checking or taking blood tests for different people. Then carriers is where he detected those people. A carrier is one person or an individual with a disease, but it does not have the symptoms, does not experience the symptoms of the disease, but he has the disease. And he can pass on that disease to another person. That's a carrier. Then we have contacts. Contacts have got the infectious disease and they have the symptoms of the disease. But uh, the disease has not compromised their productivity and their well-being. So those ones, they are observed. Then we have cases. Cases are those ones who are real sick. And that one can be done through diagnosis where we test notification, isolation, which can be standard, strict or protective, disinfection. We are using things like a, uh, like a liquid soap, like a soap, the ones we are making in our value chain. Uh, they can they come in under here after going to the toilet, once having the area, you should wash your hands with the, with the soap. And then liquid soap for cleaning the places. That's what we refer to as disinfection. Then treatment, follow up, and then uh, headed is.